Welcome to another exciting edition of Travel Guide. If you are new here consider subscribing. Today we will be visiting the Scioto Audubon Metro Park Columbus. From the fantastic nature center you love the indoor-outdoor fireplace to the climbing wall, and obstacle course to the picnic areas, and green space, you will not want for activities. Obstacle course, climbing wall, a playground for the kids, a dog park, plenty of space to roam, and a great view of the Columbus skyline. They didn't have much playing equipment for the 25-year-olds, and the bathrooms are far. You will have to drive over if you have kids, unless you want to use the porta potty which were absolutely disgusting. Dot. The dog park here is spacious, there are plenty of trails to walk dogs, and people, and the climbing wall is a true gem. Excellent park for all kinds of activities, park is very well maintained, and the park rangers are only there to keep the environment clean. First of all the park is connected to a bike path that's amazing, and the park had a climbing wall, and military style obstacle course. Really cool park with rock climbing, bocce ball courts, lots of great walking pathways, an obstacle course, and a nice dog park. This park is not as scenic as most of the other metro parks, but there is a lot to do, particularly the rock climbing wall, and the obstacle course. Beautiful park in the middle of the city with numerous trails that wind through all types of areas including grassland, wooded, swampy area, prairie also next to a river. Great area for bird watching. Great nature center, intricate climbing wall, and interactive play area playground. There was inline skaters bicyclists alike also using the trails alongside walkers as the trail is wide enough for both. A dog park is also located in this park giving a nice place to take your dog out in the middle of downtown. This park is easy to access from downtown, and has some really neat features like the water tower climb up for a view of downtown, the climbing walls, and a huge nature center. It is quite a large park with many different features, they have a climbing wall, an open field for playing games, and trails for hiking, biking, and walking. They have an eating area with a pavilion, and since the park is right on the river, there is a boat loading area as well. This is a great place to get the kids outdoors, and playing, and not too shabby for the adventurous adults as well. Place has a shaded sitting area, a grill, sand volleyball pit, water fountain, playground for the kids and a huge climbing bouldering wall, to set up your own top rope, climb up to the top where it is pretty flat, and set up from above, a great place to jog, run, walk, bike, and many more options, test yourself on the obstacle course, or bring some friends, and start a kickball game, if you can get over the panic of people trying to loop auto belays around their waist, this place is pretty sweet, they have routes for all ability levels, lovely park, gorgeous river, and cityscape views especially at sunset, various activities one can engage in, and unbelievably so close to downtown. Peaceful, well-maintained, and relaxing, beautiful dog park. Well-hidden little gem, just moved to this side of town within the last six months, and have been driving to the dog park all the way on the northwest side of Columbus off of Go Down. Go Down is a 10-acre park, which actually can make it very hard to keep track of your pup if you are a helicopter dog mom like myself. Scoot Audubon Dog Park was well taken care of, there was only a few other dogs there. Beautiful park facility with one drawback, drone use is not permitted why? There should be no reason drones are not allowed for those respectful, adventurous drone pilots. God knows, there are enough park personnel in the area to keep an eye on things, open the facility up to drone flight in the designated area like Skiodo Metro Park, it is doable if intelligence is applied. The Scioto Audubon Park is well located south of downtown, and west of the brewery district along the banks of the river, and provides a clear, though slightly occluded, view of Columbus skyline. The waivers are located in an informational box on the south side of the climbing area, directly adjacent to the wall, and the water tower observation area. A jungle gym, and children's play area is another highlight of the park, and though the tree cover is sparse, there are shaded seating areas also available with direct connection to the trail network, and proximity to populated areas, Scioto Audubon is a fantastic resource for a few hours of fun, or recreation, and due to the dark color of the water you have no idea until your kayak is scraping bottom, and you can barely move, it is also really nice for active people with an outdoor climbing wall, and an obstacle course as well as many open areas for soccer, frisbee, kite flying, dog walking, bird watching, if you are thinking of a picnic, 
or just want to bring something you normally do indoors outdoor on a nice day, why not come here? Great views of Columbus, wildflowers, free climbing walls, and an obstacle course make this one of the most interesting parks in the area. Please do yourself a favor, and become a member a lot of cool extras come with it, and you will save a lot of money even if you only go twice that year. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, and leave your comments below.